afternoon, folks. This is Tiffany Daniels, also known as the Lady Autist, and welcome, as Dan from Come Geek, some would say, welcome your faces to another episode of Spilling Tea. So, as I predicted in true to form from yesterday, it looks like A.H. and Friends, as I'm going to start calling them, have uh, doubled down and have decided to ignore her past tense language and blame J.D. as to why she didn't donate the charities. Uh, the statement from her lawyer goes to indicate, much as I predicted yesterday, just said, called it, that due to the fact that she ended up having to fight the so-called false allegations that she's had to spend the money on that as opposed to donate the pledged amount to the charities. Now, as I said yesterday, when I was channeling my grandmother, who was a school teacher out in New Jersey, back in the 50s and 60s, she did not use present tense language when she referred to the charities on television and before the, when she was testifying in court in London. No, no, she said donated, that is past tense, means it had already been done. <clears throat> It was not. Now, we have gotten some documents from the ACLU today. Not so much documents as it was more an unofficial email where she was chatting with someone in regards to ACLU where it said that they had received a, a certain amount of, oh, I think it was 350k from Vanguard. Now, Vanguard is connected to Musk, so again, this is not coming from Miss Ambie. And also, let's rewind. The fact of the matter is, she made a pledge. She claimed she already donated. Not is in the process of, not is paying in installments, and I paid the first installment amount paid the full amount, donated the full seven million split between these two groups, right? So, they are essentially trying to go back and rewrite history. But as I was saying yesterday, and God, I hate being redundant, but sometimes you have to repeat things to get things through people's heads. So here we go. You can't walk back history. We have the clips, we have the news articles, we have the receipts that show that she has stated again and again and again that she has already donated this money. And now they are trying to walk back officially. I'd really like to know how her lawyer sleeps at night. I know how Ambie does, she just doesn't care. But how her lawyer, who supposedly defend all women, sleeps at night with this rewrite of history. But they, again, they're laying the blame at JD's door. And the stands have just kind of run off with this idea. It's all his fault. If he wasn't fighting her, if he would just accept responsibility for what he did. No. No. Your queen was caught in a lie. Your queen lied. Hear me. Hear me. Fans, hear me. She lied. She lied to you. She lied to the media. She lied to JD. She lied to everyone. Okay? Okay? 
Have we established that? Okay, good. Now, what I want to cover real quick in regards to that is something I have gone over before in regards to her. Hmm. When you use sick kits as a shield, as a PR stunt to make yourself look better. And then you can't even come through for those said kids, even to make yourself look good. With the money you pledge to them, that makes you an ableist piece of garbage. It makes you an ableist piece of garbage. This is just another instance of her using people who are sick, who have illness and therefore disabilities, in order to make herself look good and to line her pockets. Disability gets lost all too often in this conversation. Somebody with a disability was preyed upon, used, manipulated, lied about, harassed, and had their careers destroyed. And then to double down, after she did that to one person, she then proceeded to victimize others with disabilities by using them as a PR stunt and then not falling through on the money that she pledged. So I'm going to say it again. She's an ableist piece of stinking garbage. <clears throat> and the fact of the matter is, she's just one of many celebrities that have taken advantage of and used people with disabilities to make themselves look good to the media. And when the cameras are off and they're no longer flashing, and the real problems and real conversations start coming out, they're nowhere to be found. The actual thing is, folks, especially right now during this pandemic, when you're talking about whether it's kids with disabilities or adults, the jobs are practically non-existent for us. We have hospitals turning us away if it's not a COVID related illness and even if it is more often than not medical staff will then try to convince us to give up the ventilators for an able-bodied person because they can contribute more. We're in a crisis in the disability community. A lot of us are scared especially those who have physical disabilities. Although, with the way they tend to treat us autistic folks, I don't even think for a second we won't be impacted if this continues to get worse. So, this is kind of my PSA to all celebrities out there. If you want to help, actually help. We don't want selfies. We don't want a hugs. We don't want you to tell us how brave we are for existing and not want to shoot ourselves for having a disability. We need actual help. We need actual allies. Activism. Putting your money where your mouth is. You want to know what celebrity does that? You want to know what celebrity puts his money where his mouth is and actually helps? JD does. JD does. <clears throat> of course, it's kind of a well-known thing in the disability community that more often than not, if we're going to get help, it's going to be either within our own community or amongst friends, allies, and family members. <clears throat> but what I would like to see would be more celebrities like him who aren't doing it out of a PR stunt, 
who doesn't have all the cameras flashing and then suddenly disappears, but have an active history of consistently giving, consistently showing up, consistently trying to do things to help. So, what I would say to all of you in Holly Weird is don't be an A.H. You don't have to lie about a pledge in order for you to be a detriment more than you are help. All you have to do is simply just see us as another PR opportunity instead of human beings deserving of help and compassion. Alright, sorry for that rant, but again, I'm going to say it one more time. And hopefully you'll help me get this trending on Twitter. A.H. Amber Heard is an ableist. Alright folks, that's all I got for you for today. Now, if you could, please, we don't get many views on this channel. The few we do get do tend to get removed by YouTube, so please hit the subscribe button. Hit the comments, and don't forget to hit the like button. Now, for those of you who caught me on Gary's stream, there's one person, one important person, that I should know better than to forget about when it comes to information about autism, which is somebody who's been an ally, a friend, she has autism herself, folks. I'm talking about our rock star, Miss Temple Grandin. Uh, look her up on Amazon. Any of the books that she has, I highly, absolutely recommend. If you ever see that she might be coming to speak to town, you gotta be there. She's amazing. Alright, I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.